Uh, Ultra Pop is a shop I've had for five years here in the Highlands. I carry art and design books, collectible toys, a lot of local screen prints from local artists, and whatever else I feel like carrying. Tonight is our uh, Halloween group show. Uh, things that go bump in the night, and uh, basically we've got like 30 or 35 different people that have contributed art to the show. I hope that this happens every single year and he just keeps calling it the same thing and it has like chapter two or uh, the way they did all the Halloween movies and that's a cool thing. Uh, but it's it's just fun when he does these big, does these big group shows. Uh, we're at Paul's uh, Ultra Pop um, Halloween party. A bunch of crazy kids with a bunch of um, stupid crazy artwork. Oh, I did the cult cat over there um, and this uh, occult print that's glow in the dark over here uh, that's based off of old movie posters and stuff. Yeah, basically, I, uh, I painted a little Frankenstein eyeball, you know, obviously a nod back to classic Hollywood monsters, which is probably 90% of what's in here are uh, all of the, the most talented Louisville artists and sort of regional artists take on all the classic Hollywood monsters, so a lot of fun. So. I think a lot of people don't give Louisville credit for the art community that's here. And honestly, I didn't really know about it until I opened the, stop, the shop. And, uh, you know, I found that as I was open, that uh, people would come in. And uh, I discovered that there's really a, a bigger art community here than people think. So there's a ton of talented people here in town. And that's evidenced by just the work on the walls, which is all local. I think that Paul has been really integral in um, helping the quote-unquote lowbrow movement of Louisville really kind of rise and get some attention. It's been really cool to see what his story's done. Louisville, I, I actually moved here on purpose and, and that was a lot to do with the art scene. I moved here from New Orleans and um, man, I tell you what, there are more talented kids in this town than uh, I, I don't even know. I feel pretty uh, pretty lucky to be here and you know, be considered part of this community and be uh, one of the peers of most of these people. So. On November 2nd, we're going to have a book release party here for a Day of the Dead book. Um, just a celebration of all of the, the Posada uh, Mexican Day of the Dead art um, with a take on it from four different artists. Myself, um, Justin Kamer, our Angry Blue, um, Roberto Lira from Chile, South America, and um, David Lazo from Southern California. So um, you should come out November 2nd. It's a pretty kick-ass community. If you turn around and film this wall behind me, I mean behind you, you'll see that there are some uh, demented people here. Time to face up on.